Okay, so I was gonna do this on Twitter, or not, I was gonna do text objects to just uh, showcase this, but I figured this is probably a better way to do this. So, uh, this is probably one of my harder completions, just because some parts are inconsistent and some parts are against the skill set I have. Uh, I was gonna do text objects and then, like, you know, clip it because I wouldn't be able to do it with the text objects over it and I wouldn't be able to do it again anyway because it's annoying but here's Sunrise by Rowie, I don't know if you can see it yet uh, I'm gonna just go through how I receive all the bits uh, I was just talking about like alignments on Twitter, like how you there aren't many good ones until the ball part so I never noticed those, it's really funny uh, so, an alignment would be, this transition kind of sucks, can sometimes kill you, but, yeah. Uh, for instance, you land here, and you always buffer that, would be an alignment. You align that, and so the, you can do the same exact thing out of that every single time, and you'll be fine. So... Uh, this is probably one of the hardest parts, and it took me so long to do it. Like, the hitboxes on all these things are weird. These obviously are very weird. Uh... These, uh, tilted... This one being tilted makes it kind of weird because it's following a different hitbox. A slightly different hitbox than the other ones, and so that can kind of trick you up and this is a little tight and so you need that position but you don't have that because there's absolutely nowhere to align in this first part and so it makes it difficult I usually have no input I just kind of straight fly through this roughly because I'm on 60 and I'm really bad at ship and I don't hit anything in this. Uh, I don't usually click here. I just see where I end up and click on the yellow. I don't think this has anything on the second layer, which is funny. But it makes sense. I mean, look at it. Uh, this sort of aligns. You can. I usually hit it around here, somewhere in that box. Uh, if you go too low, it actually does kill you. And if you go too high, I believe it also does. And you can forego it, but I'll take any alignment. That's why I always get that part down, pretty much. Uh, what I didn't know until I beat this, like months later, I used to do this. Oh, we're on P. I, have to, I thought I had to do that, but no, you just... You can just do that. I think you can even do that there. No, you can't do it there, but you can do it everywhere else. This transition, I think, can... Because you're going from two pretty different game modes, that can sometimes be a little annoying. Yeah, that, that's the transition bug. Okay, and this is the first memory bit. Uh, you can probably... No, you can't sight read it because there's actually invisible things in some parts. And some, like some, you can definitely sight read if you can spot those. But yeah, uh, so, go down here, I buffer that, or like, almost buffer it, I, yeah, you're fine if you buffer it, but I end up usually being a little late because of the blue orb, you don't hit that, and then you go there, sort of a timing, you have to be careful with a pink orb if you time that. Sorry, at least, yeah. 
That probably wasn't even an intentional timing, but then you buffer that. Yeah, and then this part killed me a couple times. Definitely the worst part of the ball part. I have to go like this. Uh, the way I usually do it is by having the little period here, buffering that. Because there is, that is enough to buffer for me. I usually time that because if you don't time that... Okay. And then this part, you just hold here. This is probably even harder to learn. Because there's just stuff here. <laughs> it's very, very strangely designed. I got the thing. Yeah, you have to hit it. You have to hit it in the right spot. Wait. You can do that. What I usually end up doing is that. What I usually end up doing is that. You cannot just stay there. That's usually the click pattern I go with. Uh, there's another alignment spot here, but going into portals, especially UFO, is definitely a big one for that. Is another thing that aligns, I would say. So you have to be there, you have to sort of buffer right before you get there. And you'll have a flex pattern. That portal killed me a lot. Yeah, and then there's this part. That part's self explanatory. Okay, this part's a little weird. You have to go there. It's actually kind of interesting. Very, very close to hitbox. The hitbox lines shrink if you zoom in. No, but it's this object is what's being that. There's another one like that up there. So you have to do that. Uh, just hold there. You have to time that pink orb. Cannot buffer that. Time that. Just hold here. Hold here. Make that whatever. This part's Another one of the hardest parts to learn, but it's pretty much the last hard bit. Yeah, so you buffer that. Buffer that. Okay. Buffer that. As soon as you see that buffer, it's sort of a click, a weird click pattern. You have to go with dit. Dit, 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 dit. They're all pretty much buffers. But that is what you have to do there. Uh, like as soon as you see this past you, so you buffer somewhere in that zone. You click somewhere in that zone. That one's free. This one I think killed me a couple times. I think I don't remember how blind that is. I don't remember that's the one I do with that on. Yeah, I think I just timed that. I, I buffered that. No, so I usually spam that. I pretty much always get it there. And then as soon as you go up, just buffer that. Hold all the way. You can just go up. Da, 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 da. Okay, that. This is a bit of a weird memory bit at the end. The memory itself is not hard, but actually doing it. can be weird. And that's not consistent, so there's a few different ways you can land outside of that. I think you can... I usually don't buffer that, I think. Wow, that looks way easier in the editor. It doesn't actually look like that in the game. 
to do that, and then you do that twice. The next one you ignore, and then you do that in time. That's wrong. 